everyone. Hi. This I'm is, everyone. Yes, specifically just you. <laughs> Welcome to um, Eggy Jazz. This is what is this game? This is a game called Forklift Load, and this is an introduction. And once the introduction finishes, I'll tell you a little bit about how I feel about this game. We get a cutscene. We get a cutscene. I'm an AI robotics engineer and researcher. I'm in the midst of developing a whole new environmental adaptive AI. Okay. I listen to this music all the time during development. Listening to this music helps me work better. It's decades old, but I've been listening to this music for a long time. Can you hear the song? A little bit, yeah. The music player is also quite old. A magnetic tape audio player. Even though it broke down, I used it while repairing it. And it's probably the only one that exists today. Let's get back to the point. When this AI is perfected, it will be possible to automate all the production activities that humans currently do using AI. Then we will be able to do only what we like and enjoy doing, and our lives will be far richer. Mm -hmm. True. That's what AI will bring us. <laughs> so that is... Sounds like an anime song. E Eagle is the is the name of that project that the scientist is working on. Okay, okay. so before we go through this dialogue, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to I want to talk to you a little bit about this game. Mm -hmm. um, I bought this game based on a recommendation that I saw on Twitter, yeah. and it is a game in which you play as a, an AI forklift in a future where humans no longer exist for one Thank reason God. or another. Thank God. <laughs> um, and that idea was like so appealing to me, just on like a base level. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm really into like, um, I'm really into questions it's like of like humanity. Right? What's that? It's like, like Wally. -E. Yeah. It's got a bit of the Wally. -E. It's got a bit of the near automata thing to it as well. The horny game. Like, yes, the horny game exactly. Cool. Um, <laughs> for everyone out there who doesn't realize what Tori is doing there, she's trying to rile me up because she knows, <laughs> that, I, <laughs> she knows that I hate it. I would when people never. call me automata in the horny game. Um, but then I, <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like like questions of like um, like AI and humanity and like what um you know what the what the end result will be with you artificial like figuring out what happened. You will figure out a little bit of what happened, yeah, okay. as you play. Yeah. Um, but I played this game in one sitting. Yeah. And I was so moved and affected by it that it like really stuck with me. It's a very small slight kind of game it's very cheap you can tell it's not cheaply made but all of the assets are very basic it's all just like really rudimentary 3d assets yeah. the music is all like very public domain kind of piano stuff but um this game made by kimidori soft is i think like a really special little thing and i want to i think you're gonna like it i hope okay. you do you might not you might have to pretend that you like it because you know that i like it so much <laughs> um but yeah this is i don't, I don't know let's get into it do you want to do you want to do the do you want to read the dialogue i can read you, you, you be pink oh sir good morning suddenly you were forced to shut down and stopped working and then you didn't start for three days i worried you so much but i'm so glad you got it rebooted successfully and as you can tell here <laughs> English is not the first language of the person who made this game. There's a lot right. of like little grammatic errors. I'm just going to read it as written. Yeah. Uh, let's get right to work today. First of all, can you hand me the drum with the fuel in it? When I give it to you, please step back slowly so you don't drop it. Perhaps you have forgotten how to operate it. Use the escape key to open the pause menu and check it out from there. There are more features. So if you're having trouble, take a look at the pause menu. Are you using like a controller? No, I have keyboard. Ooh, I think this is a controller game if you can get a controller going. Um, that's not going to happen, I'm sorry. Okay, that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Maybe next episode. Okay. <laughs> that's all right. I'm, I'm a, I'm cracked on keyboard. Yeah, I, I know you are, but I don't know the controls. <laughs> I don't know the controls. <laughs> I mean, I was like, so I can't give you as much, like, advice. But yeah. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. There's a jump. Do you want to look at the controls? Controls, yeah. Accelerate, WASD, upper fork, mm -hmm. lower fork, 
So raise it up and lower it down. Jump, break, map. There's a map. There's a map. And then tab for switching view. Switching view is going to be really useful for getting precision on what you're picking up and stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So there, now you've raised it up. So now you're going to have to reverse a little bit. And you're going to want to put... You're going to want to put the pallet on Pink's fork. Would you be upset if I played really chaotically? No, because I think... <laughs> I really like the silly little physics in it and I, I played some missions right. pretty chaotically myself You'll, there's plenty of chances to go chaotically but for now maybe just um, yeah there's gonna be a, you're gonna have to be precise sometimes there you go Perfect. she's done it that's it even though it's right after the reboot it's a senior citizen that accomplishes it effortlessly Wait. what you need to doing well is to use the tab key to switch to a viewpoint that's easier to see that's okay. what my seniors used to say so yeah, you're an older model forklift as well. Right, yeah. Next, hand the drum straight ahead of you here to Mr. Blue at the exit. Mr. Blue is over there. It's a bit fast, so please be careful. So uh, I'm, I'm guessing I'll be doing deliveries as well. Yeah, right, like yeah, I'll be you'll... carrying stuff. So it's like Death Stranding. I, yeah, it's got a bit of Death Strandingness to the like... Um, the kind of weirdness of, of carrying things and like the physics of actually like trying oh. to be careful with something. Yeah, there you go. So those are the different views. It's top down on, and then there's one from uh, the side. Oh, yeah. You might be a little bit higher. There you go. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, through the silk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I like the music already. Yeah, the music's really, it's like perfectly ambient um, and it loops. It's got a pretty long loop. I think there's even a couple different music tracks. There's, I don't want to spoil too much, but you'll, you'll okay. go to some different places. And you can also see in the top right, there's a little map kind of vaguely tells you like what- I hope this isn't like in industrial waste. Well, it's got like a flammable sign on the- Oh. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you do. You'll need to be a little bit careful. Okay. All right. All right. But when Gentle. you're just like rolling around, you can. When I got well, nothing on my load. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Are you a fan of forklifts? I am. Um, I am. I was. I never got to drive one. I have worked in a warehouse where they had forklifts. Mm, sure. Um, and it looked like fun. You never got your forklift license. No, I, I never did. Well, good news. When you beat this game, you get a printable forklift license. It's valid in oh. most Western countries. That's cool. Have you ever driven a forklift? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. I keep pressing shift. By yeah, the brake is, uh, is a killer. Almost, it's just better for me to slow down myself. Yeah, just go, just roll. At least for this mission, this is like a real... There's a speed run of this game as well. There's like one speed runner. After I played it, I looked very deeply into like the audience for the game because I wondered if this was a game that many people had played. It is not a game that many people have played. Kana has it on his wish list, surprisingly. I'm that might be because I hyped it up a lot. I don't know if he right. saw me talking about it, but it's, yeah, maybe. Maybe he just, maybe he saw the same person that recommended it on Twitter. I'm going to, I'm going to get past this bit. There you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> New record. <laughs> you said this game was short. Sleepy, let me, let me show you how to make it long. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I, look, I, you'll be, I don't know. Also, I, I don't want to spoil too much of the experience. Okay. Um, but yeah, it took me about, I think it was like two and a half hours to do everything in the game. And I took my time with it too. Like I was really, yeah, I was exploring around and checking out stuff and <laughs> trying to push the forklift to go as fast as possible. Basically. <laughs> Is there speed boosters in the game? Oh, maybe, maybe, oh, there's oh, okay. some, maybe okay. there's some upgrades, who knows? Okay. Okay. Be patient. And there you go. And then maybe right. if you want to change the view, there you go. 
But yeah, I was I was telling you last night when I was pitching this game to you that I um I like scripted out a whole actually I'll I'll, I'll wait till you get this. <laughs> I okay. wanna hear how how many words is it? This I say oh yeah, I scripted a whole little YouTube essay that I was gonna do on this game. Uh, I can tell you how many words. Give me a sec. Um, let's see. I, I scripted, f I had four scripts ready to go and footage for most of them. Oh no, I'm not on perfectly. Oh, oh, okay, that's all right. Uh, it was nearly a thousand words in this script. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, not insignificant. I think I'm not but lining it up. Are you able to like even just place it on top of it or do you need to oh, line the front? Oh. I see. I can just place it on top. I think you can just place it on top. I don't think right. you need to line the, the forks up. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, don't worry. This opening took me just as many tries. So if I, that's reassuring. Yeah. And you and still a wrote a video essay. <laughs> and, I still, and I still wrote a video essay. Oh. <laughs> I'm just really excited. I'm just a very excited forklift. It reminded me, do you, do you remember the show Brum? Do you know, I was literally about to say that. Do mm -hmm. you know, I was actually, as as he jumped and he was yellow, yep. I was like, this is Brum. Yeah, so the, the, the crux of the video essay was that um, this game reminded me of so many different little comforting things and, and one of them was, was Brum. And I found like an interview with one of the creators of Brum that I was going to put a little clip in Brum <laughs> about like, what did they say about Brom? Oh, it was it was more about like the use of like a machine as like a character, right? Um, yeah, and like the way that that can be appealing to kids and like why, um, and it was pretty relevant, I think. No, oh fuck. Oh, I really had a heart attack. <laughs> jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> there are no jump scares in the game. I can assure you, this is not yeah. a scary game. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. All right, I'm going to place it on top. I'll add a few in. Okay, yeah, lift it up higher. There you go. Delivery. You're doing great. Thank you. How are we looking? And slowly. And then just gently drop that down. And then, yeah, back away. <gasps> Oh, you weren't quite there. <laughs> How annoying. This is a Soulsborne game. <laughs> My God. You're okay. This is, I mean, this is the tutorial. Like, it's teaching you the things you're going to need yeah. to be good at. So Tutorials to... are notoriously the hardest part of any game. Because well, if you can't can beat be. the tutorial, then there's no point playing the rest of the game. Exactly. Maybe this is a one and done. It's a one, F, one 20 minute long episode of you going, no, nope, can't do this. <laughs> I think you got this. I got this. We're figuring it out. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, Lauren came in, like my girlfriend Lauren, uh, when I was playing this game, she came in to see what I was doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she saw me like moving this little forklift around. <laughs> I was gonna like, say, she she came in and saw you bawling your eyes out over this little forklift. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she, she was like, what are you, what is this? <laughs> I don't want to talk uh, about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be real gentle. We're not you don't yep. wanna speed through. Yeah. I get this I get this issue where I get You get frustrated and you I wanna get blase. Like, get done. Yeah. yeah. And you make mistakes. Yeah. Be gentle. This is a this is a slow little patient game. You don't okay. need to rush. None of the missions are like crazy long. Well there's one there's one later that really um that really tested me but when i got it when i worked out the method i was like oh i'm a fucking genius so i'll, I'll tell you the <laughs> method when when we get to that one okay to cool save you having to yeah thank you um discover it on your own um but yeah oh take your time take your time it's okay don't okay. no break don't no break just yeah you go Good i stuff. put on the reverse thrusters that time ah that's what you want yeah 
Yeah, the break is very stunning, isn't it? I'm glad I don't have to use uh, or worry about fuel consumption. Yeah, no fuel. It's the it's future. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're running on electricity, even though you can see like a little, a little exhaust pipe at the back. So you you reckon I go above and drop this down onto him? Yeah, I think that's. I mean, I think you can. Okay. Um, but you just got to make sure that it's, you're flush against the the back of the yeah, or like the front of it, so that it, when you lower gently and back away, you don't tip it. That's good. You're nicely in line. There we go. And now I don't think lower. I can get. And then, not no. too low. Not too, oh, oh, Sorry, we, can okay. we, we can fix. Go it. forward. Yeah, yeah, you can fix it. <laughs> ah. <gasps> Oh, now raise up a little bit because you don't want to be so low that you're pulling it out. Oh, because you're... Oh. Oh. Beautiful <laughs> stuff. And that's a beautiful performance there from Craigie Jezzo in our timeline. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good job. Thanks. Next Excellent. time, help me out with the outside. I left the exit for you. So I like that they talk to going. each other and I like that they're called pink and blue. Yeah, yeah. Um, now you'll get to meet a lot of friends. Um, I'm out of yeah, here. Head on, head on out. <laughs> well, there's a car. Lore. There's a car. Oh, it's a civilian. civilian. Right. Mm -hmm. You're all the Excuse voices. Me? Yeah, I'll do all the voices. I need your help. I'm out of fuel and I can't move. Can you please go ahead and bring the fuel to me? On the way here, I found fuel. Oh, okay. It was all the way back there. All right. Now you gotta, yeah, just gotta grab it. Oh, I see there's a map, yep. Yep. I like this, I like the driving around part. Yeah, the driving around is good. Um, How do I get there? Just keep going, you'll, you'll see okay. it on the left. And then all the way around the back. There we are. And there then I get to go yeah. over the little ramp. <laughs> um, I don't think you do. You don't advise? I don't, yeah. Go back around the way you came, basically. I like the different viewpoints. Yeah, it's good. All right, gently. You got it. If this is a bit, if if this is after humanity, who's putting these? Mm. Who's going to fill the car up? Is this like well, ca Cars well, Universe? It is like your Cars Universe. They're fully autonomous. They don't need anybody. They'll work it out. They've, they've, they know how to do it. They, they have cussies then. They have like, oh, yes. They've got four glossies. Um, <laughs> pro tip, I think if you lower the pallet down, you'll have better center of gravity. So uh, less yes. likely. It'll tip. Yeah. Oh, and then kept going over this. Oh, beautiful. Nice. Easy. Yeah. There you go. You get it. I'm just a little forklift. You're just a little guy. I've got the same logo hood hood ornament as the car. Oh, really? Wait, oh. what is the hood ornament? See there? And then look oh, at this yeah. car. Like the, with the wings? Yeah. You go add that to your video essay. No! Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I was doing so well. Okay. Yeah, you were doing really well, you know, so you know how to do it now. I wish there were checkpoints. Do you um, get yeah, I th so whenever you retry the mission, it just starts you off from where you were standing when you got it, um, which is for the best. Like, there are some missions that you're like traveling around a lot. Right. But the checkpoint is like the start of the mission. Yeah, I guess you don't have to go around the back. No. <laughs> I guess I don't know everything about this. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually written a video essay on this game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what did you have to say about it? Uh, it's all right. A bit too horny for me. <laughs> yeah. This is <laughs> only slightly less horny than Nier Automata is. <laughs> Uh, were you going to write a video essay on Nia? No, so I... Low, lower the ballot. 
I was going to say, I've also picked it up a little bit off center as well. Yeah, that's that's okay. You can, if you wanted to find like a wall, you could press it in to center it. But I think ah. you're okay. yeah, you can like. Use I'm going to try that. To like, yeah. Um. No, I had a uh, ooh, beautiful, just scraping the side. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's nice. Uh. Yeah, I I had like a series in mind that was about um. It was games that are not perfect experiences, but still have some like value to them that I think is like important and worth exploring. Like, right. But they're not hidden gems either. Like, I hate that time where it's like, oh, you think about like all the listicles where it's like 10 Xbox 360 games that will blow your mind that nobody ever talks about. Like, <laughs> the way these things are framed, it's like, it needs to both be unknown and underground and also perfect but i think there's this like whole subset of games that never get talked about that are like just fine and we talked about this being a, just, yeah. just sevens out of ten. Seven out of ten yeah and yeah. so the whole series was like my case for those types of games and it was like i had written you know a series that kind of elaborated on my sort of philosophy for of what i what i look for in a game like that mm. this was the first game that i talked about had a, had a title for it, started doing like a whole little intro animation. It was, I was getting there and then I started recording the, the vocal takes and cringed myself completely out of my own body listening to myself talk. So, <laughs> it'll never happen. Oh, you brought it. Thank you so much. You saved my life. Now I can go home. But I need to get back to the city. But the roads are blocked with debris. Is there a wheel loader somewhere that could move the debris? Look at the map with the M key. Go to the exclamation mark. Okay. Oh, I see. Mm hmm And we were here. Yeah. You can see your, you're the arrow. Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> what, are, what are your favorite, like, what's your favorite thing that, um, that sucks. You know what I mean? Like, what's the, what's, the <laughs> best, what's the thing that you love the most that is like bad and hard to recommend to people, but you still love it anyway? Um, Love Island. Oh, true. Yeah. I think. Am I going the right way? Uh, I think it's the other way. It's the opposite direction. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's around the corner. Yeah. To the left. Yeah. Yeah, I would say yeah, Love I Island. Yeah, but that's sort of, that sucks in a very, like, it's, like, boring to, um, to talk about <laughs> how much it sucks. Like, people complain about um, reality TV, but it, it must be good, right? Because so many people love it. True. Mm, what's going on? Can't get doodle at the debris? All right, I'll take care of it. I'll get rid of the rubble in a minute. I still have some work to do, so I'm sorry. But in the meantime, can you get me some fuel? It takes a lot of fuel to clear the debris. Excellent. Uh, and I immediately regret doing a voice. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. now, now, now we go you over. Have to go over that. Yeah. That's going to be so tricky. So this one was tough. This one took me a couple goes. Okay. I'm going to get the first try. I really hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Great start. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Uh, this this game does bring me so much joy. Like I was, yeah. Again, I was saying to you before, I was looking up footage of it to refresh myself and just hearing the music, which is like, oh yeah. Okay. You're gonna be careful because there's a gap in the middle, and your wheel can get caught in the gap. So you have to be very precise with Ooh. the movement. Yeah. Um, do you want a tip here or do you want yes. to try it on your own? Okay. I'll have a tip. Okay. Grab the pallet. Oh, so high. It's fine. I'm Maybe just trying to make it harder well. for myself. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> oh, fuck. Now, it's right on. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, yeah. Push that against the wall if you can. Perfect. Perfect. Now it's, it's now it's glitching. Okay, great. Oh yeah, your fork is like through the, over the top of the pallet. 
that's fine. This yeah. probably won't. So you don't have to go over the ramp with the pallet on the fork. You can uh, rest it on the wall. Where I picked it up last time? Yeah, like that wall that you can see just to the left of that ramp. And then go over the ramp and then pick it up from the other side. I tried going over that ramp like three or four times and it's right. not possible. <laughs> okay. And then I realized, oh yeah, you can just put it down and pick it back up. Oh. We got this. You've, you've got this so good. <laughs> All right. Uh, and we're just gonna have to accept that. Nice. Oh my. God. This will give you a good chance to like reconfigure your approach. There we go. Oh, yeah. uh, there you go. I like that you don't have to have the. Yeah, you could, yes, and remember that as well, because he hit missions where, like, just putting down the thing is the thing. All right, well. You can, you can jump. Oh, that's right, I can jump. I can you jump. You get stuck in the geometry of this game all of the way through. And you can just reset, right? There's a reset you option. Can also, yeah, you can also get saved. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is so... This is really hard. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be right on with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? About, like, you, you will just play chaotically. It's impossible. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Gentle. Maybe do a top view to see if you're lined up right. Yeah, you can make this work. All right. Nice. We're gonna have well to. Done. We're gonna have to do some adjusting. Yeah, but you can. Yeah, you can just ad hoc adjustments. Yep. Until then, we're gonna be really stop. gentle. What's ad hoc short for? Uh, I don't know what it's short for, but it means like. Add Hockerman? <laughs> yeah, it's add <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever, like, said to someone in, a, in an argument, like, that's ad hominem and you can't uh, use that? No. Were you I've ever, like, an argument you. debate lord? Uh, no, not really. Like, I can have a conversation with people, but I think the moment you start using, like, debate terms in a conversation yeah. with someone, you've lost the debate. You've lost. <laughs> you've lost it. Like, just try and have a good faith conversation with somebody and don't point out every little fallacy that they use. <laughs> hope for the best. Pull out your chart of argument fallacies. Yeah. My, my little conversation tree that I follow. <laughs> Okay, we're just gonna be real gentle. Let's be real gentle. And again, if you want to lower it, like I said, good idea. Yeah, I think it is a good idea to do it. It does seem to sway a little bit less in the breeze. If you could reset your career in real life, what would you what would you change it to? Um, and like you could be exactly where you are now, but it would just be your career and study that are different. Like a, just a completely different field. Yeah. I think I wouldn't mind doing some sort of like um, furniture construction kind of thing. Like yeah, a, carpentry. A carpentry or upholstery or something. Like I think that could be really satisfying and fairly lucrative if you feel if good at it. Um, and furniture is always going to be necessary. So. What about True. you? Oh, gosh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> um, oh, and then, oh, beautiful. First try. Excellent. You did it. All I right. did do a first I try. Think that should be enough. Let's clear some debris. Wait for it. And what did you say? Um, a train driver. Actually, I know the answer. Oh, a, yeah. A train driver. Yeah, I like that. Answer. I get to be with the train. Yeah. We cleared it. 
We cleared it. For the Tesla. Yeah, for the civilian. <laughs> True. Mm -hmm. So, how are we doing for time? This has been a good episode. We, we will we will end the episode. Do you want to just read Dozer's lines? Oh yeah, true. Sorry, one second. <clears throat> That's how we're getting through. If you want to get to the city, you're gonna have to go through there. All right, I guess we're off to the big city in the next episode. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.